He had his bachelor's degree in food service ma management. And he also started it based on his passion for the food service industry. His motto from the start was, choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life by Confucius. Our chef for this morning is the catering executive of Great House Caterers and has made multiple achievements, such as nominations for the Prime Minister Youth Awards of Excellence, Mogul in the Making for 20, 2013, Chef on the Rise in 2012, and multiple culinary awards. So who better to talk with us this morning on a recipe for success other than our own Theo Smith? Good morning, everyone. All right. Come on. All right. So, as you've heard, I am the catering executive of Great House Caterers, a catering company that started operation in August 2011. Um, we catered throughout the island, but based in Kingston. But since the launch of Great House Caterers, I've made numerous achievements, as just described. Um, but before I even go any further, I must say, I might seem a little nervous. It's probably because I am. But it's, <laughs> it's actually really funny, as Uncle John called me and asked me to present on a recipe for success. And my first response was, yes, definitely. Soon after hanging up, I thought, wait a minute, why? Well, well, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I figured it was a recipe that actually clicked in the head. And I was like, yes. Then I was like, wait a minute, why am I doing a speech? And I'm nervous. And I know of all the persons, Uncle John would have the experience of knowing that I'm very nervous and I have stage fright. So I found it very surprising. But speechless after a while when I realized, one, I was honored to come in front of such an amazing crowd to give such a great speech. And two, for the, <laughs> and two, for the same fact that, what? I'm doing a speech in front of how much people? OK. So. How to put it forward now? Yeah, as I said, a little nervous there now. Okay, but I realized my progressions over the years. I mean, a few years ago, this would never happen for me to come on stage, even go on a simple reading, but it has happened. I realized that since I both launched Great House Caters and since I started to practice the teachings of the Temple of Light, I've learned a lot, and I realized an example. I went from a young man who didn't want to come up and stage just for a simple Sunday school blessing to the young man who is happy and relieved to come on stage and give this speech. I also went from the young entrepreneur who would rather read a script and speed read it to an audience and just close my eyes <laughs> to the young man who rather speak from the heart and let my passion lead me along the speech to an audience from as minimum, well, from 10 to 1,000 basically. So this is a proud moment for me, definitely, even though still working on it. It's a work in progress. <laughs> so now as I give the recipe for success, once again, the recipe, I'm pretty sure Uncle John did this intentionally to say recipe. I would say always to my team members about recipes, of course, they're chefs, is that the famous quote by Thomas Keller, a recipe has no soul. You as a cook must bring the soul to the recipe. So in this case, I mean, outside of food, you have to bring the soul, the passion behind a recipe. A recipe is only a guide. Yeah. So, the <laughs> so the first step for the recipe for success, after all, is to write down your goals. I mean, we learn this every year over and over, write down your goals. Whether it's on a scrap piece of paper, a napkin that can publish store, notepad, a tablet, send it in an email, whatever the case may be, you need to write it down because you need to be able to track it. You need to know how far you've gone. You need to look back on it. And of course, you need to hold yourself accountable for the goals that you set, because that's the only way you'll go forward. The next step is to believe in yourself and invest in yourself. It's a very important point there because you have to believe in yourself. You're the first person to always hear your ideas. You're the first person, in my case, to taste my recipes. You're the first person to generally have a full idea of what your idea or concept may be. So if you can't believe in your own idea and yourself, then how are you going to convince others to believe in that same idea? So you definitely 
have to believe in yourself. Also, invest in yourself. I remember reading this a few weeks ago. Invest in yourself. I was like, OK, what do you mean by that? Invest in yourself in an example. Oh, sorry, not an example. Invest in yourself as don't see certain ex things as expenses. See them as investments. Don't see your college tuition as an expense. It's an investment in your education. Don't see your gym membership as an expense. <laughs> see it as an investment in your health and your weight and your way to weight loss. See everything as an investment as long as it's going to better or give you that better chance of success in whatever it may be. Okay. Of course, the next thing of investing in yourself is to reward yourself. You need to reward yourself because that is what is going to motivate you to keep on going forward. It's what's going to motivate you to keep on building on those goals and expanding goals, those goals over the days, weeks, months, or years, depending on what that goal may be. We also need to take action, take risk, and accept failure so we can learn from it from there. You can't expect to sit down and success to come to you. You have to get up, go after it, and chase that success. You might go down a road that you might be unfamiliar with, a road that might be dark, but you need to take the risk and find out where it leads you. If you fail, you take it, you learn from it, and you know never to go down back that road again. So it's all about accepting your failures. A successful person isn't someone who just pops up out of nowhere. It's someone who accepts failure over and over and keep on trying. The difference between a winner and a loser is someone who gets up, brush off themselves a million times, and go forward with it. You never know if that, that one more time that you say, I'm going to give up, that you might be just one step away from that success that you're seeking. So another aspect which connects back to it is your will, your desire, and your passion. One most important thing that everyone asks me, why is it that you're so successful? So, <laughs> so successful, and I say, because I'm passionate about it. If you don't love what you're doing, if you don't have that, dem that demand, that urge to get that success that you want, chances are it's going to be very hard for you to get it. You have to really need it. As I always hear this video on YouTube. I watch too much YouTube, probably. <laughs> um, is that you have to want success like how you want air. You need to need it that much, day in, day out. It's not you want it, except when your friends are around, you don't want it. Can't be the case that you want it, but when you don't get it, you're, like, you're giving up. You have to always want it 100% and put your effort 110%. Next aspect is, of course, excelling at what you do, going above expectation and beyond imagination, which is one of our goals here at Great House Caterers. But in general, you cannot expect to do what everyone is expecting you to do and then succeed. You can't expect to do what everyone else is doing and be successful. You have to go that one step further or that 10 steps further. You have to make sure that you have the knowledge in the area that you are. It's the case that it's education-wise, it's the case of work-wise, if it's just a personal, simple goal to get across the road. Whatever the case may be, you have to make sure you have the knowledge and you're always willing to go above and beyond. And lastly, the next aspect of success, I mean, there can be many more, but next main aspect of success is definitely your commitment and determination. You have to be committed. I mean, I've had many cases where I've said, I, I'm going to give up on this thing. It has been too long. And then just right when I say that, I, and I keep on, I was like, all right, I'm just going to be stupid here and just continue doing it anyway. And all to see that success came forward. So you have to be determined. It can be, as I say, one day, two days. It can be three days. Don't go and say, ah, this isn't for me then. Give it a try. Keep on going. It's better you try and find out that you won't be getting it. Or maybe you still haven't tried enough, you should continue to try. But be determined and committed. Never give up. And essentially, that would be the end of my speech. I know I probably speed through it, and it feels a lot easier now. But this is now a success point for me, because I'm not sweating. Thank you. <laughs>